I've narrowed it down or I boiled it down to you know, four principal tasks. One was to implement the legislative and presidential mandates. I knew I was going to be judged on how well I did that, judged by the oversight committees in the Congress and the President's Intelligence Advisory Board, by the media that paid attention, by the colleagues in the intelligence community, and by the multiple cabinet secretaries that owned pieces of the intelligence community, had to meet the ongoing responsibilities that we could not shut down uh, in order to make repairs or restaff or reorient. That the literally thousands of customers and hundreds of subjects uh, in the federal government that are supported by the intelligence community on a daily basis, uh, including support to the two wars and the war on terror, um, but also uh, health and human services, commerce department, uh, support to diplomacy, these couldn't, couldn't be taken down. How to restore confidence, restore confidence in the intelligence community as an entity, in the products that it produced, and the loss of confidence began at the top, began with President Bush, it went down through senior officials, uh, began with senior people in the Congress. And it related to the morale of the workforce. If the people and the missions that were being supported did not have confidence, it's kind of hard to be enthusiastic about doing what is necessary uh, to satisfy the requirements of mission. 